And another Manhattan courtroom is packed this morning as the trial of New Jersey Senator Bob Menendez getting underway. That's right. He is accused of accepting bribes in return for doing favors for several wealthy businessmen. Now, this is his second corruption trial in a decade. Richard Giacovis is live downtown with more on how jury selection is going. Richard. Bianca Chris, the second corruption trial of Senator Bob Menendez's career is officially underway, but this one could actually make or break Menendez's time in office. He's accused of using his position to accept bribes, hundreds of thousands of dollars in bribes and gold bars and even a Mercedes Benz convertible. The three term Democratic senator arrived here outside the federal courthouse about 8 15 this morning, passing by the media, heading inside to be screened as jury selection begins in this trial. Inside Side, Menendez sat with his lawyers and listened as Judge Sidney Stein told several dozen prospective jurors about the charges against Menendez and two of the businessmen saying he has, quote, agreed to accept bribes and accepted bribes. The judge then told the jurors that they had to commit to seven weeks. Whoever could not serve was then taken into a separate room and asked why. Menendez faces a total of 16 felony counts. He was indicted on bribery charges back in September with his wife Nadine, along with three other New Jersey businessmen. FBI agents raided the senator's New Jersey home last year, recovering those gold bars, about $480,000 cash. Prosecutors allege that Menendez used his influence to deliver favors to help those businessmen, as well as enriching the governments of Egypt and Qatar, charged with conspiring to act as a foreign agent. Menendez, his wife, and two of the men have pleaded the not guilty. One response. of the businessmen pleaded guilty to bribery back in March and agreed to fully cooperate with prosecutors. Menendez has railed against this trial, claiming he was a target because of his Cuban heritage. He's not resigned except for stepping down as the chair of the Foreign Relations Committee. But he's insisted that he will ultimately be exonerated. And in court papers, lawyers have revealed they plan to argue the senator had no knowledge of some of what occurred and that it was his wife who kept him in the dark. Two defenses that you typically see in cases are, I didn't know, and it wasn't me. And in this particular case, Menendez is going to use both and say that he did not know what his wife Nadine was doing. And to the extent that she was receiving a benefit, it was not something that he was involved with. Now, prosecutors are limited when it comes to forcing one spouse to testify against another. Opening statements won't begin until tomorrow at the earliest. Senator Menendez's wife, Nadine, is not expected to begin her trial until July. As for re-election, the senator has said he won't seek re-election as an independent, but is not ruling out a run on the independent ticket. His words when he was charged back in September, quote, prosecutors get it wrong sometimes. We're live in Lower Manhattan outside federal court. Richard Giacobus, Fox 5 News. Bianca Chris. Very interesting. All right, Richard, thank you very much.